Mark Benito from WP Academy here to show you how to copy charts, graphs, or even numerical tables such as return on investment calculations to a WordPress website. The easiest way to do this is to just screen capture the chart or graph and then insert it into WordPress as an image. I'm going to use a free screen capture utility called Cropper that works for PCs. If you are looking for screen capture on a Mac, just Google screen capture on Mac and then follow the remaining instructions in this tutorial for adding an image to WordPress. Let's get to it. So here is our sample WordPress website and we're going to copy a chart to a new page. Now you could also copy a graph or a financial data of any kind, a table. So let's create a new page. And um, I'm going to have to screen capture the chart or graph from the originating software. Let's say for example we have something like this and I have installed a screen capture program called Cropper which is a free screen capture program for PC. There are others available and you can also Google screen capture for Mac if you have a Mac. And if you see down on my desktop here in the active programs it shows as a sort of a plus sign there. So let's bring that up and that brings up the, the little cropper window here and I'm sort of resize that over the graph and it also tells me the pixel dimensions that I'm capturing 413 horizontal by 341 vertical which is a good dimension and then if I just double click it will have saved that and captured it into my my documents. And from there I need only add it as an image to the page through Add Media, of course, and Upload Files and Select Files. And you're going to go under your My Documents and you're going to notice on a PC anyway, there's a folder that it created called Cropper Captures. And the latest one here would be the one that you're looking at. And it'll give you the date and time if you're in any doubt. So open it up. It's going to load up. There it is. And here, just insert it alignment. Let's uh, center align it. Let's not hyperlink it to anything. And let's insert the full size graphic. You could actually put a smaller size here if you want to do, if you want to put a thumbnail or, or medium size. And there it is. And then you publish the page. And we'll call it chart. and then view the page. Okay, there it is. Now uh, you could resize it slightly by using what's called a browser scaling. Let me show you how that works. Just edit the page, select the image, click on the image edit button here on the top left, and then we can resize it slightly here. Let's bring it down to 80% of its native size. Update and now that's done. I hope that helps. Please come back for more tutorials on WordPress web design and small business web marketing by WP Academy.